Hi, I'm Melanie Paschal. I'm currently a third year internal medicine resident at Yale New Haven Hospital, and it is my pleasure to discuss the differences between compensated and decompensated cirrhosis with you today. Let's begin with the role of the liver in the body. The liver works to synthesize proteins as well as clotting factors, which assist in proper clotting of blood. It also helps to metabolize or break down many different medications and is vital in the function of the immune system. The liver also produces bile, which helps to metabolize fats, and it stores many different nutrients. When the liver has an insult or injury, it sometimes can become scarred or fibrotic. Lots of scarring in the liver is called cirrhosis. There are numerous reasons why someone may develop cirrhosis, including viral hepatitis, like hepatitis B or C, heavy alcohol use, or obesity. Many other diseases, such as Wilson's disease, hemochromatosis, primary biliary cirrhosis, and autoimmune hepatitis, to name a few, can also lead to cirrhosis. There are two stages of cirrhosis, compensated and decompensated. Patients with compensated cirrhosis are typically asymptomatic and feel healthy. The cirrhosis may be detected because of abnormal blood tests, which often lead to further investigations to check for scar tissue, such as fiber scan or liver biopsy. Patients with compensated cirrhosis need to be monitored for complications, such as liver cancer or esophageal varices, or progression of their liver disease. But most will live for many years because their liver continues to function well. Compensated cirrhosis may progress to what we call decompensated cirrhosis, especially if the underlying reason for cirrhosis is not treated. We say someone has decompensated cirrhosis if they have specific symptoms from their disease, such as ascites, bleeding varices, or hepatic encephalopathy. Ascites is accumulation of fluid in the abdomen and sometimes in the lungs as well. Esophageal varices are dilated veins in the food pipe, which can cause life-threatening bleed. Hepatic encephalopathy is confusion caused by the liver's inability to clear toxins. Patients with decompensated cirrhosis suffer from many symptoms, need specific treatments, procedures, and hospitalizations, and many die unless they receive a liver transplantation. You can think of compensated cirrhosis and decompensated cirrhosis as two ends of the spectrum of the same disease. If the insult leading to cirrhosis is fixed, for instance, if someone stops drinking alcohol or if their viral hepatitis is treated, this may prevent progression of compensated cirrhosis to decompensation. And in some patients, their decompensated cirrhosis may improve at the point of not needing a liver transplant. I hope that this short explanation was helpful and you have now a better understanding of these very different stages of cirrhosis.